Hey guys, welcome back to Wonder Walkers. Today we're going to be chatting about some of the disadvantages and advantages of picking Airbnb over hotels. Most of you will probably know what Airbnb is. If you don't, you've probably been living under a rock. And for those few people that don't know what Airbnb is, it's basically just a website. Uh, it's like accommodation wherever you want to be in the world, basically. But it's accommodation in people's houses that they either own or they're renting out. Um, so it might be an entire house that you can uh, basically rent for your stay. Or it might be just a private room in somebody's house that they're, they're wanting to um, accommodate travellers. Or it could even be the fact that it's just like a, a cabin out the back of someone's house. You know, there's lots of different um, styles of accommodation that Airbnb does offer. Uh, for us personally, we do like to have like the entire house to ourselves. Um, but a lot of people out there are definitely happy to choose the private room option and meet new people when they're traveling and, and that's like how they like to use Airbnb. But for us, we just like to have the option to cook and to um, have facilities available to us if we need sometimes on holidays. But that's how we like to travel. We choose Airbnb for some of our holidays and overseas and domestic trips. Um, other times we use hotels, it just depends on the particular trip, so we don't use it for everything, but we do use it quite often, so we want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages that we've found, uh, because we have had some good stays and some bad stays. The first advantage of staying in, a in an Airbnb over a hotel is generally the price, so generally the price is a lot lower and you get a lot more for your money's worth. This isn't always the case with Airbnb. I've found some places can be more expensive, uh, just depending on where you go. But I think across the board, for the most part, it does tend to come in a bit cheaper, or if not cheaper, better value for money. Mm. Uh, if it's coming in the same price as, say, a hotel room, it could be that you're getting an entire house to yourself instead of just one hotel room for a, a reasonably similar price. So generally, price is a factor in terms of how we choose accommodation and that's why we do tend to choose Airbnb over hotel accommodation a lot of the time as well. Another advantage to Airbnb is basically having the ability to live like a local. So you can choose, uh, for example, when we were in Japan, we chose to stay in an Airbnb in Kyoto. We stayed in more of a traditional uh, Japanese house, which was really amazing and it was great to have that kind of style of accommodation because we haven't had the chance to do that a lot on our um our trip so far so it was really nice to experience living like a local it wasn't i mean it was a pretty central uh located house but it wasn't like in the center of of the city or anything it was kind of like a short walk from the train station so you were kind of in the more residential neighborhoods and it was just really nice to sort of live like a local for a few days the ability to have a home when you Choose an Airbnb is a big advantage over using the hotel. So, for example, Kayla already said with a hotel you generally only get a room or maybe two. Um, whereas if you choose an Airbnb, you can have an entire house in a residential area. So that includes, you know, maybe two stories like what we had in Kyoto, a bathroom, kitchen, laundry area, a garden out the front or back and a balcony, etc. Maybe even some views depending on where you choose. Like, you can have an entire home if you prefer. Then there's also the ability to meet new people, as I said before, when you're traveling. So if you're the type of person that likes to do sort of couch surfing and stuff like that, then there's a lot of people out there that are willing to host their homes to travelers and that would love to meet you and would love to basically host you in their home. Uh, so it's a really good way to meet people as well and kind of a, a bit more of a safer way to meet people as well because you can look at the reviews online for Airbnb and you can see the reviews from people that have previously stayed with um, different families and, and that sort of thing. So you can actually see what it might be like prior to actually arriving, which is really good. I think that's a really good thing about Airbnb. So those are just a couple of the advantages that we have found with Airbnb. There are probably plenty more. There's just the main ones that we have found. The first disadvantage we're going to talk about is things like tours. So Tour companies will always pick up from a hotel, whereas if you're staying in an Airbnb, 
you will have to make your own way to a hotel or a pickup point because they won't pick you up from a house. So that can be a bit of an inconvenience for you if you're if you're starting a tour or if you're going on a day trip or something like that. You know, it it is a bit harder for you to to um, start the tour that way. So another disadvantage of Airbnb that we've found personally is that you do have to self check in and sometimes this can be a good thing but sometimes it can also be a bit of an annoyance as well especially when you're traveling on holidays and you just don't want to sort of have to think about that um particularly with uh doing your own porterage and, and taking your own bags if they're really heavy that can be hard if you're walking from a train station that's like a 20 minute walk um to the place you're staying at so self check in would mean pretty much doing everything by yourself um trying to get into the property and sometimes Depending on how clearly the self check in details or instructions are written, that can be hard or it can be easy. So there's generally not any cleaners that will be in to, to clean up after you, uh, and you'll have to do that yourself before you leave the Airbnb. This isn't the case with all Airbnbs because we've experienced with some that there, there can be cleaning options, but uh, usually you'll have to either make sure the beds are neatly made before you leave, or you'll have to um, sweep the floor or you'll have to do the dishes and just like little things that sometimes on holidays you just don't want to be dealing with um for, personally for us it's not a huge disadvantage because we it's not like we make a huge mess when we go and stay at people's places through airbnb anyway but i think for some people it can just be like especially if you're on a shorter holiday and you just want to enjoy it more and you don't want to have to worry about cleaning that can be a disadvantage another disadvantage to airbnbs that we have found on a few occasions is that some Airbnbs may actually be illegal. They shouldn't be renting them out as a property on Airbnb. So we have experienced this firsthand where we, we've kind of been told by uh, the host not to mention the word Airbnb. You know, if we see neighbors, just kind of ignore them, don't tell them. If if um, they ask us questions, tell, us, tell them that we're just friends of the guest. So sometimes, in terms of being illegal, it could mean that the apartment building that the um, host is is hosting the Airbnb out of may not allow Airbnb, or it could be the country that you're in that doesn't allow Airbnb. Um, so it's just something that you do need to maybe research before you look into certain Airbnbs. And I mean, it's hard to do from time to time because for us, when we found out that at one particular Airbnb we were going to stay in was illegal and um, not actually allowed in the property that we were going to stay in, uh, this actually happened in Tokyo, which was, it was a bit of a mess in the end because our friend that was actually staying with us at the time, she arrived before I did, so she was actually going to check in for all of us. And it ended up being that she was actually harassed by the security guard outside of the property and she was asked, is she staying in Airbnb? Um, she was questioned about her bags and the fact that she was a foreigner and it just got a bit messy. Uh, we weren't actually told any of this information until after we'd booked the Airbnb and we started receiving emails about a week prior to staying there uh, to not talk to the security guards, to not talk to neighbours, don't let anyone know that you're staying in an Airbnb. If anyone asks, we had to say that we were friends of the host, uh, that we're just staying um, as friends. Obviously, my friend checked in in the end, and it, or she was trying to check in, and then it didn't go well. And so she messaged me, and we had to cancel the property. And I actually had to go hire and contact Airbnb directly and and ask because the, the host wasn't responding she wasn't responsive so it actually turned out for the better in the end because airbnb did give us a, a full refund and they understood that it was just not a great situation and it shouldn't have happened um but i'm pretty sure stuff like this would happen quite regularly throughout airbnb and whether you are comfortable with letting that sort of thing slide or not is totally up to you as a traveler and whether you think you could possibly get away with it i guess or whether you know, you just feel comfortable doing it. Personally, we didn't feel comfortable doing it and I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Cause like, I wouldn't like to think anyone has that situation overseas. It's, it's just not something you want to deal with when you're really wanting to explore a country and just sort of be at ease. We are really big users of Airbnb. We always look at Airbnb, whatever trip we're going on. And we do believe that the advantages 
highly outweigh the disadvantages. We've only had a few instances where they haven't got to plan, um, but most of the time they are f smooth sailing. We've had great hosts, uh, we've given great reviews, we've had a great time, we've, you know, enjoyed our time in those places and we would definitely stay in those places and continue to use Airbnb as well. Overall, we do really enjoy using Airbnb and it's a great way to see another city or see another country through maybe a local's eyes. And um, yeah, we really enjoy it. So we definitely recommend it, but there's definitely those things just to be wary of when you are choosing an Airbnb and be picky <laughs> if you have to, you know, go through the reviews, make sure that um, previous travelers have expressed that they've had a great time or that it's been safe or, you know, just look out for those sorts of things. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment below and subscribe to our channel to keep updated. Uh, until next time, thank you guys so much.